I get tired of laying in my bed at night wishing that someone was laying beside me. You know, you know, I'd be like, ooh, it's so good to have that whole bed all to myself, but it would be so nice to have someone laying beside me. You know, and another thing, I get so fucking tired of having the balls, not literally, having the balls, the guts to confess to somebody that I like them and then they don't even like me back because maybe there's no spark or that they tell me in other ways, but they're not actually telling me and they're not being real about it. And that, that really, really, really fucks with my head. <laughs> you know, and it's like, come on now. How the fuck do... And, and I know another thing, studs always want, studs, tomboys, you know, women that, you know, they always want a good woman with, with her own place, who's independent, who has her own place, her own car, who's educated, artistic, poetic, um, has her head on her shoulders, down to earth, genuine, everything else, you know what I'm saying, and I'm just like, you know, like Big Outrage was saying, I'm right here, I'm right here here I mean how the fuck do y'all motherfuckers see right through me I'm right here here sure I'm a big girl granted I'm a big girl but I, I, I'm a big girl with confidence I carry this shit very well okay you know and sometimes my this the psychological thing in my head be like well maybe if you lose a little bit of weight maybe you'll get more maybe more women will holler at you bullshit bullshit i see couples who you know what i'm saying one will be a big big woman big beautiful woman and another one who is a regular size average woman you know what i'm saying and they be looking good as fuck together and i'm just like oh my god why can i have that shit not to sound envious, but I'm just like, damn, if she can fucking do it, if she can have that kind of solid, you know, connection, chemistry, and everything else, then why can't me? You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of couples that are, you know, who are plus size. You know, well, one is a plus size woman and the other one is a smaller size woman. I've seen a lot of those couples in the Bay Area. Trust you know what I'm saying? And I can I can hear it now. You know what, Tim? Maybe you need to get out of the house a little bit more. Maybe you need to... Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I am working on getting out of the house a little bit more. That's a, that is another thing. I, I am work, you know, I get out, you know what, fuck that, I get out of the house every, every, every other day, you know, when I run, run my errands, when I go see my mother, when I go to Starbucks, when I go, you know, when I finally start going back to the poetry events, when I, you know, when I'm going to be going to these board meetings, when I'm going to, you know, go, at, whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever, but, Ain't no good woman is just gonna fall on my lap. But it would be fucking nice. It would be nice. It would be nice. It would be nice. Call it wishful thinking, but it would be nice. People say, oh, you need to get out of the house. Then you, then someone will come into your life. Oh, you don't need to be looking for love. Uh, cause when, when you look, then, the, then the right person won't come into your life. And love comes when you at least expect it. All three of those things have happened. But guess what? They turn out to be a fucking fail, man. A total fail. <sighs> And after watching the video, Where Are the Good Ones, it, it really, really, it, it breaks my heart because, again, I'm going through the same fucking thing. I am, you know, it, I, she said it all. You said it all, sister. You... You had hit the nail 
in the head, down the board, you know, inside, you just, mm, you just hit that shit, you hit it, you hit it, you hit all points, every single one, and I can relate to all of them, so you are not the only one who is going through what you're going through, I'm a good one, and I wonder why a good woman has not come into my life, you know, people say, good things come for those who wait, oh, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for quite some time. I've been waiting, and I ain't going to lie. I'm tired of waiting. And I, you know what? That's another thing. I don't want to try to go on the Internet looking for love. I don't want to post no ads. I don't want to go through that. I've been there, done that. Ugh, no, 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 no. And then I also said to myself, if love does not come into my life, then so be it. And it's hard to accept that. It really is hard to accept that. I hate to put that shit in my head and say, oh, if it comes, hallelujah. But if it doesn't, so be it. Fuck that so be it. Life is short, man. You know, life is short, you know, and, and, and big outrage is right. It's like everybody complains about, oh, we're, you know, all the good ones are taken, all the good ones are taken. That's bullshit. All the good ones ain't taken. You just ain't looking hard enough. Or, or you do see a good one. You do see a good one, but we're not that perfect match. We don't have that, that edge, <clears throat> excuse me, that edge. We don't have that, that, that. We, we're not, you know, fucked up enough. We're not warped enough. You know, we're not, you know, all crazy and messed up in the head. And, you know, we're, we're not broken enough. I've been, I've been with some broken ass women. And I've given so many broken women a chance. And I'm like, uh-uh, that is my fault. But I know why. I can't beat myself up for that because I have a big heart. That's another thing. I have a big fucking heart. Heart of gold. Well, <laughs> heart of platinum. Okay? Huge heart. All right? <sighs> yeah. You know, poetic old soul. Feeling like something is missing in her life. It's a fucked up thing. It, it's really, really a fucked up thing to think about. And I, I try not to let that get to me every day. I try not to. I try to focus on other things. But it's getting harder and harder. It really is. So... Big outrage. I appreciate you making that video because, wow, that really blew my mind. I, I really feel where you're coming from. I don't, I mean, I know I said that so many times, but wow. I really don't know what else to say. I think I said it all. Loneliness is such a drag, is what Jimi Hendrix said, and he said it best. And quite frankly, it sucks. Poetic old soul signing out. Peace.